On November 15th, India saw the demise of one of the country's freedom fighters. Veteran communist and freedom fighter N. Sankaraya passed away at the age of 102. Reports said that he died around 9.40 a.m. in Chennai on Wednesday. The three-time CPM MLA had been admitted to the Apollo hospitals in Chennai a few days ago for treatment of flu, but doctors said that his condition deteriorated. His mortal remains will be kept at his residence in Krombettai and then at the office of the Communist Party of the Communist Party of India in Dinagar for public homage. Shankaraya is survived by his sons Chandrasekhar and Narasimhan. As one of the founding members of the Communist Party of India Marxist, Shankaraya played a key role in several governments and was elected to the Tamil Nadu Assembly in 1967, 1977 and 1980. He was CPIM Tamil Nadu State Secretary from 1995 to 2002. A freedom fighter and one of the founding fathers of the Communist Party in Tamil Nadu, Shankaraya has also served in the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly. Born on July 15, 1921, in Kolipatti, in Thudukudi district, Shankaraya started his freedom struggle while studying at Madurai American College. He was arrested by the British government in 1941 when he was studying in his final year of college. After eight years of imprisonment, he was released only after the independence of India in 1947. Shankaraya was one of the main founders of the Marxist Communist Party when the Communist parties split into two in 1964. He was the State Secretary of the Communist Party of India from 1995 to 2002 and was elected to the Legislative Assembly from the Madurai West constituency in 1967 and from the Madurai East constituency in the 1977 and 1980 elections. Chief Minister M.K. Stalin condoled the death and recalled how the state government honoured Shankaraya with his Thagai Sal Tamilar award recently. Former State Secretary of Communist Party of India G. Ramakrishnan, State Secretary of the Communist Party of India Muthusaran, Vishika President Thiru Mavalavan, Tamil State Congress Party President G. K. Vasan have also condoled his death. May his soul rest in peace.